Welcome back once again to HowToCookGreatFood.com On the menu today and as you can see right here I'm just finishing this off We've got some Jamaican or West Indian styled fried chicken with a nice little bit of gravy in there Absolutely delicious Got a bit of a kick to it Let's go and do it Okay, before we get started on cooking just want to show you what I do with chicken. I do this for nearly all of my chicken, in fact, is to wash it really well. So I've got a whole chicken there, which I've cut. I've taken off the parson's nose and some little bits of fat and cut it into nice little pieces. What I then do is I wash it really, really well in cold water. I then leave it to soak for, I'm going to leave this for about 10 or 15 minutes. You can leave it longer if you want in the fridge with lots of lemon juice, which I've rubbed in and salt. Then what I do is I'll drain that off and then we're ready to go. You don't have to do that. I just do that with all of my chicken. It just kind of cleans it really well. Okay, so as you can see, I've now drained off our chicken and it's ready to go. I just like to make that step. Like I say, just so I know that it's nice and clean. So in this mixing bowl, it's gonna add a little bit of sunflower oil. You could use any oil you like, I suppose, really. We better get in some black pepper. Some salt. I've got some chopped onion there, I'm using white onion today. You could use red if you want. Then we're gonna add some curry powder. Now this is a Jamaican or West Indian curry powder, which is very different than your Indian types. If you can't buy that in your store, check out our channel because there's, there's a video there that shows you how to make it. It's really quite simple. It just has a few more things and has a less of other things basically. It's a little bit sweet, a little bit more mild, slightly more fragrant, I suppose. But yeah, check that out. Anyway, in that goes. Now I'm going to put in this baby, which is a Scotch bonnet pepper, absolute fire. Look, there's a couple of whole ones there. Come in a few different colours. You normally see them in red, but they really, really are very, very hot. But I've got an incredible flavour. I mean, you know, they really do have a beautiful, beautiful flavour. I've just put one in there, sliced it up. I'm also, in addition to that, going to put a little squirt of hot pepper sauce in. That's the brand that I like to use, the Encona. There's several brands out there. Choose one that you like. Very popular in our kitchen for sure. Then I've got here some, you can see I've got chopped garlic and ginger. About two hefty teaspoons of those guys. 50-50 mix. What we're going to do now is give this a mix, get it all in there. I'm being really polite because normally I would do this with my hands I think and then wash my hands but because I'm on camera I've got to behave myself. So let's get it all mixed in. Hey listen if you're handling these guys by the way even when you're cutting them wash your hands because they are real fire. Re really you have to be really careful maybe even wear gloves if you're fairly sensitive. So we've got a lovely mix here of our curry chicken. Like I said, the curry powder, it's got um, a little bit of thyme in it, for example, uh, allspice or pimento. Not so much cumin. It does have coriander in, a little touch of chili powder and um, some star anise. So like I say, it's slightly different than your, your regular Indian types. But check that video out if you can't get some online or in your local store because you can make it really easy. But right, that's it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to shrink wrap, plastic wrap or cling film that, whatever you call it. I'm going to pop that in my fridge for at least one hour. You could leave it overnight, quite frankly. And then we're going to come back to the cooker and then we'll get started on the next step. Okay, so here we are. I'm using a large wok today, just so you guys can see what's going on. You can use a wok if you want, 
or any pan, quite frankly, a nice, nice big pan, up to you, or a frying pan. I've got some oil in there and it's actually smoking now. I've not got tons of oil, but because I'm using a wok and it's very thin, it gets hot really quickly. So this is gonna be quite noisy. Simply, there's our lovely chicken. We're gonna get some parts in. I'm probably gonna do this in a couple of batches. It's gonna be quite noisy. In they go, and then we're gonna fry them for about six minutes, turning quite often. Yeah, I'm going to do this in two batches. So on a high heat, we're going to do that. Now, we're going to be left over with, because I'm just taking the chicken out, I'm just picking the chicken out. We're going to be left over with lots of this marination and the onions and all that. Do not throw that away, we definitely need that. See you in a little while. So just doing my second batch now. And like I said, we've got that beautiful marination there, which we're gonna make a little sauce with that. So certainly don't throw that away. That is pure gold. That's goodness there. Let me finish these bits, then I'll be back. Okay, so as you can see, our chicken's done. Now it's not overcooked. It's really nice and succulent. It's not too dry, don't get it too dry. Now, as you can see, I'm going straight back in this pan with all of those beautiful juices. We're now gonna add in the balance of our marination. Just got those lovely onions, that scotch bonnet, and of course, all our lovely spices. To that, right now, I'm gonna add a little bit of fresh tomato. And let's just cook this for about four to five minutes. Stir often and scrape the bottom of that pan and get all of those lovely burnt bits off and get them mixed in. I really like that. Lots of flavor in this pan already. Let's not waste it. This is cooking down beautifully. And at this stage now, I'm gonna add some creamed coconut. Just a little bit, not too much. Uh, that's creamed coconut. This is a Dun Rivers one. There's loads of them you can buy. It's like a block of coconut, creamed. So it's like a butter block, hard. If you can't get this, you can use some coconut milk, but just a little splash. You really just need a little splash in there. Then I'm going to add here some green onions or scallions or spring onions, depending on where you come from in the world. We'll have a different name for them. And there we've got a lovely gravy. That is really good. Now you've got a couple of options here. Serve this as a side gravy with your chicken, or do what I'm gonna do, and get it in. And just give it a mix over, keep it really nice and moist. Now I'm gonna cook this for about another four to five minutes on a high heat, stirring it all the time. And then we're gonna be done, it's gonna be ready to eat. Check it for salt, it's gonna be great for me. And as you can see, we've not got like a big curry or a stew. It's just kind of coated over those chicken parts. And you can pick them up with your hand and eat them. But like I say, I've gone for this version. You could have just kept that gravy separate. I like it just like this, to be honest. I like that gravy to get right in there. 
continue cooking for a little bit let it all go inside they're absolutely delicious these are nice and spicy hope you enjoy it don't forget to subscribe to our channel we'll see you again soon lots of love